Let's look at estimating products when we are multiplying decimals. When we're asked to multiply 3.6 or 3 and 6 tenths and 2 and 8 tenths, we could have an exact answer. We could also make an estimate of this answer by rounding each of these decimal numbers to a whole number. 3 and 6 tenths goes, is close to 4, 2 and 8 tenths is close to 3, so 4 times 3 is 12. This means our exact answer should be somewhat around 12. It helps us place the decimal point later on when we are and we do figure out that exact answer. This is what I mean from before. What I did here is I figured out the product of 97 times 22 as 2134, except there were decimal places to place. And so, really, 9 and 7 tenths, when we estimate it, we could estimate that to 10 as the nearest whole number, and 2 and 2 tenths, we estimate as 2, so 10 times 2 is 20. To make this close to 20, we would place the decimal point right here as 21.34. It makes us understand that our answer seems to be reasonable. Again, if we're asked to estimate the product of these two decimal numbers, we could estimate this to the nearest whole number. 12 and 6 tenths would go to 13, 4 and 8 tenths would go to 5, and 13 times 5 would give us 65. That's our estimated product. To estimate this product here, we have 3 and 72 hundredths and 5 and 3 tenths. We go ahead and work with the 3 and 72 hundredths first, and that rounds to 4. 5 and 3 tenths would round to 5, and we multiply 4 times 5 together to get 20 as our estimated product. Here's a problem for you to try. Go ahead and estimate the product for 3.8 times 2.2. .2. Estimate to the nearest whole number. Press pause as you work. Did you round 3 and 8 tenths to 4? Rounding 2 and 2 tenths to 2? And 4 times 2 is 8. That is the estimated product. The estimated product for 9 and 76 hundredths times 5 and 1 tenth. You try again. Press pause while you are working. Okay, 9 and 76 hundredths rounds to 10. 5 and 1 tenths rounds to 5. And you do multiply those two together to get your estimated product of 50. Another type of problem you might see is if you are asked to estimate the product to the greatest place. In this case, the greatest place here is the tens place. So we would round it to the tens place, 23.7 to 20. Four and two tenths still, the greatest place is the ones place still. So that's times four, and 20 times four is 80. For 812 times 5 and 8 tenths, still the greatest place in that first number is now the hundreds place. So 812 rounds to 800. And then we just multiply by 6, because this is 5 and 8 tenths there. And so 800 times 6 is 0048. And then so that's 4,800. For this here, 2,165, Greatest place is the thousands place, so 2,165 goes to 2,000, 4 and 9 tenths goes to 5, and 2,000 times 5 is 10,000. And that's how we estimate to the greatest place, and we're still tr figuring out estimated products. Please work out these two problems. It's time for you to try. Please work out these two problems. It says to estimate the product to the greatest place. Press pause while you are working out these problems. All right, for this first problem, 
327, greatest place is the hundreds place, so that's going to round to 300. And 5 and 7 tenths goes to the nearest whole number, 6. 300 times 6 is 1,800, and that is our estimated product for 327 times 5.7. 68, greatest place is the tens place. 68 goes to 70. 3 and 2 tenths goes to 3. And 70 times 3 is 210, which is our estimated product for the actual answer.